What is up? I'm Moana Turtle, and today we have another Scarlet and Violet 151 ETB opening. This one is for our patron and good friend, Fun on a Bun, <laughs> top tier name. And here we go. He has one ETB, so that's nine packs. <clears throat> and uh, sorry if I'm a little choked up today. I think, uh, might be starting to get a little cough. But, um, all right, so Fun on a Bun. Uh-oh. Oh, sorry about that. Not sure what happened. Funabun is the one that sent me a message saying he wants the Zapdos EX. The, <clears throat> I don't know why they keep changing the name. The SIR Birds. And that's, that's all. <laughs> anything else is unacceptable or something like that. And this one, I'm nervous. Um, I'm optimistic that we'll get good pulls. But to get a specific pull, not only that, but we already pulled one. And not that that should impact our chances, but it's like, oh no, we we had a box that had it, but we opened it for someone else. Uh, so here's the promo, it looks pretty good. And um, yeah, best of luck, uh, awesome to hear from you. And here we go into pack number one. We got nine shots at hopefully something good. Hopefully the birds base set starter even better. Um, I have opened some more product off camera and still, I think I've only pulled one Ivysaur, but actually the card quality, that that ETB, all of them some in the same case, uh, was very poor. Uh, actually we got, it was actually my best box so far, but there was quite a bit of whitening and bad centering, so that was very disappointing. All right, we're gonna go slow through the first pack and then we'll speed things up. We got a Rigid Band to start things off, Graveler. Ooh, okay, so we start off with a Full Art Supporter. Very strong start. Hopefully that's not all heat in this box. Um, but actually I had to, <clears throat> was googling around for like a thumbnail and I guess she's related to Professor Oak or something but uh, very nice hits um, you know between her and Erica I think the fact that Erica has an alt art would mean that she's like the primary chase and that I didn't even know who she was this Oak or Daisy was until I looked it up and centering bottom doesn't look perfect so I don't recommend getting this graded and it's not Erica but that is a very strong start to the opening. Yeah, so far I feel like all of our boxes have been um, not very strong. But then there's like one or two packs that uh, make it a <clears throat> that uh, make it acceptable kind of thing. Um, we haven't gotten blown out, but we haven't hit any home runs. Again, only one starter alt art. All right, Growlithe into a Vioplume. Oh, okay, we do got a Reverse Energy. Again, I think of the Reverse Energy, this might be my favorite so far. Just reminds me of kind of like that vintage hollow style. But as always guys, let me know how your 151 openings are going. I still feel maintaining the position that it's a tough, tough set and you know, I feel like the ratio feels similar to <clears throat> more like Sun and Moon era regular sets definitely not like most special sets and I think I don't have a problem with that it's just about adjusting your expectations we got a gold card all right so this <laughs> this box is good <clears throat> no not the alt art variety but just solid hits we got a full art supporter and then a gold switch gold trainers are always kind of like Ooh, we got a secret rare, but why'd it have to be a trainer? But at least Switch is one that's always going to be viable if you play the game. Oh, we got a Blastoise as well. So strong hit ratio in this box. Um, not home runs, but very strong box so far. And no one's going to grade a Switch, right? I'll just put it in this sleeve. Fun about if you're interested in taking a look at centering. Actually, I'll, just, I'll show it briefly, but I mean... The end of the day to switch. Oh, I feel like this this border looks a little thick. And then Blastoise. As far as like a base art Blastoise, that's pretty good. Oh yeah, just like the oh man, we gotta get one of those God Packs. I just love the art. <clears throat> I I think that the Squirtle one is great. The Bulbasaur one is good, but I think it's the least whelming. And then the Charizard one is very cool too, like in that canyon kind of thing. 
All right, so very strong box. Ooh, okay, just, all right, this is, this feels like, like Crown Zenith. This feels like Hidden Fates kind of thing. Uh, we got a Psyduck. Whenever the Pokemon is actually really small, I feel like it's difficult to pull off, but this is pretty good. Um, that feels very Psyduck. I'm not sure what's going on with the picture. I, I, I like to tell myself a story with it. I'm not sure what's going on there, but I like the card. Ooh, another one, Psychic too. Psyduck is worth considering, in my opinion. If we have, if it's like, oh, this is a 10. Uh, otherwise, if it's like a toss up, I kind of mm, lean towards not grading it, but let's take a look. Ooh. All right, I think that looks like a 10. Again, like, I don't think this would ever be a super valuable card, but um, I feel like any 10s for alt arts are definitely worth having in the collection. So, wow, look at all these hits. We still got, we're not even halfway through. So, final one, you got a very strong box. We're still looking for that bird for you. And that, oh man, I just want one of the, the starters. Come on. Nidorino, man, the Ivysaur that we, that pulled off camera was like, finally, that's like, oh my God, look at this. Look at this bad quality. We got, oh no. <laughs> This is a taunt. I'm sorry. This is a taunt. We got the Moltres. Ooh. This, this opening is going really well, but then it's like, ooh. Oh, no. <laughs> All right. Shake that one off. As far as the hollows go, that's pretty good. I think that the art is, is quite good on that one. All right. We got Eevee. Jigglypuff into Kabutops. Ooh. I think this is the first time we looked at Kabutops. Not bad. Not bad. All right. Three packs remaining. Uh, yeah, Fun Bun had the, the, the biggest challenge, only nine packs. And uh, I feel like coming out coming out quite well. Maybe we're still looking for that card that you want. Maybe, is it here? I'm guessing it's the last slot. We got a Ditto. And uh, if you haven't picked up one of the binder collections, I do think it's worth picking up one. I think um, if you find it at like a big box store, it'll cost 25. So it's slightly over that typical $5 per pack price. But I do think the binder is worth having. Got a drill, and I uh, mentioned it every video, probably do a master collection set. Um, not sure when I'll get all these alt arts, but uh, I think that would make a very nice binder. All right, last pack. Can we get some last pack magic? So again, we did get a full art supporter in Daisy. We got a gold switch and a Psyduck and then a regular Blastoise. Needle Queen to start, so it's not a god pack. Needle Queen into Rhydon, into an Elect, ooh, all right. Fire energy as well. So sorry, fun about we did not get it, but um, yeah, again, I feel like this is one of the more solid uh, boxes where, yeah, we didn't get any of those home runs, but a better than most hit ratio. And um, yeah, as far as trainers go, at least it's one that's, I'm pretty sure is always relevant. <laughs> I can't imagine, or maybe that changes, but um, as always guys, thanks for watching Fun on a Bun. Sorry we didn't get the bird. Oh man, that Moltres, that was brutal. That Moltres was brutal. I'm sorry about that. But um, thanks for watching. I'm Wanda Turtle. Shout out to you, Fun of Bun. Thanks for supporting the channel and being a patron and sponsoring this opening. I'm Wanda Turtle. I'll catch you all next time. Peace.